Hey folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. After getting a lot of dislikes in the last three or four videos, secret dislikes, because nobody wants to hear the truth. <clears throat> Let me get that one. Okay, nobody wants to hear the truth. So we're going to go back to the 30 day supply of food. All right, because a lot of people are still wandering around, no situation awareness of what's going on. Uncle Al's always alert, and Uncle Al knows what's going on. That's why he's not panicking, and he's not running around during the Easter. I have so many emails and calls. What I'm going to do? <coughs> Leave New Jersey. Unless you live near uh, a Garden State Gardener, that area is safe. The rest of New Jersey is kind of iffy. It's like that lost pile of nerve gas. I don't know where they lost it, but it's still out there. And once in a while, it leaks and people hallucinate. <laughs> There's a bird creature or some kind of jumping kangaroo. Yeah, we know what that caused by. Okay. Now, this one is an oldie but goodie. So I'm blocking off the top part because we don't want to talk about that. We're going to get this bottom part right here. Okay. Spices and seasoning. Fairly easy. One pound of salt. Remember, yellow top, black bottom containers. Okay. One pound of salt. Large can of black pepper. Cinnamon. Red pepper flakes. A bottle of ketchup. Now, I've been talking to a couple of my food buddies of mine. Uh, you could substitute ketchup with tomato juice. Give you a large can of tomato juice, large bottle of tomato juice. Now, this is for a 30-day supply, so you don't have to worry about de deterioration, okay? Because you might be using it during the rough summer, okay? Uh, one large bottle of Tabasco sauce, guarantee it. Uh, any kind of hot sauce you like. Uh, Mrs. Dash. Garlic and onion powders. Okay, you want to buy a lot of these. And vanilla extract. Real vanilla extract. Okay. And then we have flavoring season. Like paprika, curry powder, oregano, lye, cumin, olive oil, maple syrup. Now, maple syrup. You want to get 100% pure maple syrup from Canada or from the New England state. Now, all these will be listed down below in the description. Okay? Uh, and we already talked about olive oil. Miso paste. All right? There's different types. you got to understand. I use it for a lot of vegetable-type cooking. Brown sugar. And a lot of people like... How come your brown sugar always stays fresh? Because I cone them. A lot of people are like, what the heck is that? And I tell people it's an old Spanish and Japanese tradition. And everybody looks like it. What that mean? Uh, if you go to a Mexican store, you'll find these cone sugars. That's brown sugar. Only difference between that and the cone sugar that you buy at the it's shaped like a little cone because you need a little grinder to grind off the flip, the sugar. Instead of your sugar in little bricks and hard like hell, you could do the same thing. I got a grinder, a little grinder, and I use it. It's not hard, folks, not rocket science. Uh, some kind of chili sauce, your favorite. Uh, soy sauce, depending what nationality you are, there's different soy sauces, so pick one that you like. Mustard. I always go with the dry mustard because it lasts longer than the wet mustard. Fish sauce. Again, depending what region of the world, fish sauce it depends on the people. Uh, olives. A lot of people look at me like, olives are gone as a flavoring, a condiment? Yes. Okay, because a lot of people don't cook. Uh, coconut milk. You could do a lot of things with coconut milk. 
especially when you cook with curry powder. If you get the hot curry powder, you want to cool it down. So you add coconut milk that cuts down the heat. Uh, sardines. If you're Mediterranean or, or Asian, sardines come in three forms. Canned, dried, pickled. Uh, you could use it for a lot of things, and it di gives off a different flavor for each. Again, you've got to learn how to cook. All right? A lot of people knows the basic. A lot of people took home ec. A lot of people who are serious about cooking watch all these cooking videos. And what you want, and uh, you have vinegars. Okay? If you want to get a good bunch of vinegars, check out Vineyard chicks, their family sells uh, delicious vinegars. Buy a couple of gallons from them. Also, we have fresh herbs. Now, this is important because I keep telling people, if you're growing a summer garden, part of it should be an herb garden. You, can, If you're in a colder climate or you have a growing season, five-inch pots. You put a seed in there, you grow the plant, and you rotate it. After the plant matures and finishes its cycle, you start another plant. Change the soil, different pot, and you keep going. You can do a whole garden on the windowsill. Fairly easy, and it doesn't take up space or time. All right? Since I live in a high growing area, it's part desert, we have 276 days of growing. So I have a strawberry pot that's a big clay pot with little pockets all over it. So I could plant all the herbs I want in each pocket. Or I could do it in my veggie pot, veggie pod. And a lot of people look at, what's a veggie pod, Uncle Alan? It's like a little greenhouse. Because Uncle Alan lives in a dry area. I want to retain moisture. You can see this on Amazon. Type down veggie pod. Amazon. Sounds like it says real simple folks, not rocket science. Because my area is so dry, it sucks out all the moisture. Now, on my third garden, a truck farmer, he grows strawberries. And we got it down pat for strawberries in this area. We grow up strawberries from beginning of January all the way over to May and June. Then we stop and switch production to something else. A lot of people forget when it gets 116 where I live, nothing that's been watered is going to survive. No moisture in the air. That's why I don't need a dehydrator. You stick everything outside in trays and like do 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 and it's done in two days. So remember, folks, down below is all the listings for the items we just talked about. You want to have it in a box and repeat them uh, like before. <coughs> you repeat it. <coughs> you repeat it. One box for one month, another box for another month. And so you got three months supply right there. Okay. If you have extra, but Uncle Alan, I just duplicated a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if you do that, you have something to trade. You have backup. Okay. Because this is for only one person. So you figure out if you have to do it for four people, you have three months supply right there. Not rocket science. It isn't hard. Just duplicate it and stash it away. Now, a lot of people are like, so how many boxes do we have now, Uncle Al? You figure it out and how much your family used. This is for one person. And it's fairly easy and fairly lightweight. Okay, again, I have to stress on that tote. It's a black bottom tote with a yellow top. That will hold what you need carefully and everything. And be sure any empty space, you wrap it up in bubble wrap. You don't want jars or bottles or can to break. So remember, folks, don't panic. Remain calm. Plan ahead. Think ahead. 
while everything is still good and it's not June yet. Remember what I told you about June? April, May, June. We're going to hit another valley. Now, again, longer you keep Captain Crazy in, worse it gets. And I hope this helps you out. Because a lot of people don't have situation awareness. They're running around with their heads cut off and screaming, It's the end of the world. Are you going to buy this product or do this or do that? I didn't do my research right. Okay? I tell a lot of people, do your research. And don't do it like, you know, over the past 30 years, we had a lot of, you're only looking at one source of information. Okay? If you got it off the internet, I wouldn't trust it. So you have to double check and go back and look at the paperwork. Then you could be secure. But remember, folks, when you do research, always double check and read the fine print. Because nobody ever does that. They just look at their phones and like, yeah, I believe that. Let's give Uncle Alan dislike. 30 days later, uh, our house is burned down and we don't know why. Uh, duh. Does that answer your question? Okay, and I'll see you later, folks. You have a nice day now. Have a happy rest of this week. Remember, it's getting closer. Bye now.